Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Topping our news this evening, the Mayaka River continues to flood some nearby neighborhoods in Venice. This is the second time in less than a month that river has spilled over its banks. ABC 7's Rick Adams has more from Venice. Some neighborhood roads in Venice look more like rivers than streets. Hurricane Irma has caused the Mayaka River to flood roads near the river. These are the same areas that flooded just a few weeks ago from record amounts of rainfall. It's a major inconvenience. Some people don't go to work because they can't get to their vehicles. Some do, but it's a matter of uh, changing clothes in their vehicles, you know, because you got to either walk through the water or, or boat to your car. Alan Pomerleau has lived in the River Palm section of Venice for 35 years. His home was built on higher ground. Other than losing power, he and his family are okay, but for some of his neighbors, they're not so lucky. They're having to uh, get their uh, belongings out and or uh, uh, they get ruined and in a lot of cases they lose a lot of a lot of valuables. And the Salvation Army is doing their part to help. The, the South Sarasota branch just received many hurricane relief supplies from Agape flights which is being distributed to Mayaka River flood victims. Everybody is trying their hardest to help you. We know that you're affected by this and we just want to help but please be patient with us as we try to get out to help you. The Mayaka River did crest at the state park, but has yet to crest in areas near these neighborhoods, which has added a lot more concern. Right now it's a big nuisance for them. Uh, if it gets to the point where it affects their septic tanks, then we will put porta potties out there again and, and so forth. So we're there to, to try to take care of them and get them through it as quickly as we can. That's Rick Adams reporting from Venice. County officials also say the Mayaka River is expected to crest in that area tonight or tomorrow. Let's get a check on our weather tonight with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Our first alert forecast. Hi, Bob. Hi, Scott. We've had some showers around that have cooled things down in some areas, not everywhere, but still. Uh, we'll take what we can get, some uh, cooling showers. Now near Northport and also near Warm Mineral Springs, some rainfall headed toward Tarpon Point. Uh, it's a little west of Northport now, but the outflow boundary from this little area, uh, actually it's been working its way from up north uh, down to the south now, and they're kind of con converging right there over Warm Mineral Springs, so that could get a little bit more intense. We're also seeing a big storm system over Pinellas Co County, all the way over to Hillsborough County. Uh, we can see the outflow boundary from that heading southward, so uh, we could see some other showers starting to pop up uh, to the south and west of that rainfall. Right now, the rain chance at around 30% through this evening. And down in Northport, that activity will try to work toward Minnesota Beach. Temperatures have cooled where it's rained. Uh, we're down to 79 in Sarasota, 77 in Cortez, 80 in Bradenton. Uh, we had some showers around Lakewood Ranch earlier, too. Water temperature now at 89 degrees, and that's the same as the air temperature in Arcadia. Well, the rain came at around 4 o'clock. Just shortly thereafter, Lakewood Ranch producing some Pretty hefty showers, and then the sky started to clear a little bit. There's another round possibly later on this evening. That's at about 20 to 30 percent for those scattered showers to redevelop. Right now at the airport, it's cooled as a result of the rainfall. 79 and the heat index at 83. The, uh, that's much nicer than 100 than it was at just about three hours ago. The southeast winds are at 6, and the pressure 29.95 inches. We're continuing to watch three areas now in the tropics. We have Jose. We have tropical depression number 14, and again, we have another one here. This is uh, more important, I think, for the islands. We'll talk about it. It is just a tropical disturbance at this point. It's heading to the west, northwest, and could soon become a tropical storm. The next name up uh, looks like is either going to be Lee, which this could get, and then it's Maria after that. So an update, a full update on the tropics coming up in just a few minutes. Scott? All right, Bob, thank you. In the wake of Hurricane Irma, many of the area's older residents have to fend for themselves when it comes to cleanup. But one local woman is grateful for a group that's taking the initiative to help those who need it. And it just so happens it's someone from her past. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo joins us live from her new town home tonight to explain. Dwayne? Well, Scott, this is a group calling themselves The Cause. For the past week, they have been going around the Newtown community helping the elderly clear out heavy debris outside of their homes and in some cases inside as well. It's a group of about seven, one of them you may have seen before. For 82-year-old Minnie Coleman, a resident of Sarasota for more than 70 years, it was a shock coming back to see the damage Hurricane Irma had caused. It was a mess. It really was. I cried. I didn't know who to call or who to, 
where to go. A tree uprooted just feet from hitting her home. A portion of a fence coming from a home more than 50 yards away. And a portion of her fence severely damaged. Partially disabled and living alone, this obviously is a job she couldn't do on her own, but ended up getting a bit of a surprise. I saw all these boys and men in, the, in, in my yard, and I asked one of them who he was, and he said his name was Love. He said, but Michael Hawthorne, if I knew him, he was in the yard. Yes, the same Michael Hawthorne who played for the New Orleans Saints and eventually the Green Bay Packers, putting together a group called The Cause, cleaning up heavy debris around Coleman's home. I started boohoo crying. People thought they had done something to me, and it was tears of joy. I'm glad they know that when I'm happy, I cry. Emotional for Coleman, she helped raise Hawthorne and another cause member when they were kids. Everybody in the world need to know that these young men nah, are not boys anymore, but they're young men, and they still remember what I've done for them through the years when, when they were young. A group whose sole purpose is helping the elderly. They say they pick any old person, they go by and check every one of the old ones they know what they can do for these older people. I'm really proud of the way they came in here and showed me their love and how they wanted to help me. Well, Scott, modesty and humble are a few words to describe this group. They didn't want to be on camera and were busy throughout the day helping others. Reporting live in Sarasota, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News. Wonderful story. Thank you so much, Dwayne. Efforts are underway to help those still dealing with the impact of Irma. The city of Sarasota is teaming up with several nonprofits to feed those in the Newtown area who are still without power. ABC 7's Bobeth Gage joins us now with more on that. Bobeth? Well, for many in the Newtown community, today marks day five without power. The issue has sparked a free community cookout where hundreds of people have been lining up for several hours getting some food. Now, the line is pretty short now, but this was their first hot meal for many of them in several days. Um, my children and I were out of power for about four days. All of our groceries, everything in the freezer, deep freezer, refrigerator went bad. Saron Devon is among the thousands of Suncoast residents still dealing with the loss of power. And with the Newtown community being among the hardest hit, several nonprofits and the city of Sarasota have teamed up to help those still without electricity. We just wanted to come out and uh, provide some type of comfort for some of the families that are uh, affected by the hurricane, for the ones that uh, maybe still don't have power or maybe lost food and just haven't had a hot meal. Trenton Davis is with Operation Jumpstart one of the organizations hoping to feed at least 500 people a variety of cooked meals. And Booker High School's football team was also on hand to serve those meals, a task they say they're happy to perform. Because we were like part of the community, like football, because they come out and support our games and when we down, so we got to help the community also. In addition, charging stations and children play areas have been set up. In the meantime, those being helped say they're just thankful. I know there are several people that still do not have power and can't cook. So this event that, that the community is holding by the two nonprofits and the city of Sarasota is amazing. And it's, it's really helping everyone in the community. In addition to the hot meals, All Faith Food Bank is also on hand, giving out boxes of food to take home for the weekend, just in case electricity doesn't get back on. Now, they're including in their boxes uh, fruits and vegetables and other produce, as well as some non-perishable items. Back to you. A hot meal and some cool AC. It's a good combination to hear. Thank you so much, Bobeth. The city of Sarasota will begin debris collection and removal on Monday. Unlike regular yard waste pickup, there will be no specific scheduled days for the storm debris collection. Residents are encouraged to place the material curbside as soon as possible. Now, to ensure it's picked up, the city is recommending several ideas, placing all the vegetative debris at least three to five feet away from mailboxes, water meters, street signs, light poles, and fire hydrants. Don't place debris in the street or on top of storm drains, and don't bag it or put it into a container. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, more than 200 baby squirrels, victims of Hurricane Irma, now they're now recovering in Venice. 
and a local ice distributor struggling to meet their high demand while working without power. Now you can win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just enter the word of the week at mysuncoast.com. This week's word is football. We'll pick a winner each week. Good luck. It's rainy season on the Sun Coast. Storms can pop up at a moment's notice. Sometimes it's just rain. Sometimes it's much worse. When severe weather strikes, trust ABC7 First Alert Weather. We're here for you. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Com. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. If you're thinking about replacing your windows, what matters most to you? We found what matters is high performance. Our customers want energy efficient windows built for Florida weather. Windows that can stand everything from scorching sun to hurricanes. Our customers want windows that reflect their life, their lifestyle. Windows that will last a lifetime. We listen to our customers and as a result, we're growing. So if you're looking to replace your windows, stop here at New South Window. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. Discover all the reasons the experts love Subaru during the Subaru A Lot to Love event at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $189 a month or get 0% financing. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. Services.com. More than 200 baby squirrels are being nursed back to health following Hurricane Irma. The storm's strong winds blew a lot of the babies out of their nest. Many people found the squirrels, bundled them up, and took them to the Wildlife Center of Venice, where they are now recovering. The mother squirrels have several nests, and um, they usually will just move squirrels from one nest to the other. But when you have a, a weather event like this, um, it just blows them all out. Wildlife Center officials say they'll reintroduce the squirrels back into the wild as soon as they are ready. A local ice company is still dealing with the negative effects of Hurricane Irma. Lee's Ice provides more than 200 businesses with ice here on the Sun Coast. They've had to turn away customers since losing power during the storm. This is our General Manager says they've been buying ice from other suppliers as far away as Georgia but still can't keep totally up with the it. demand for their product. That demand is high with many homes still waiting for their power to be restored. We're just doing what we can for the public and hopefully we can continue to get more ice to more customers as we get more ice and up and running. And I would like to thank everybody for understanding everything that's been going on. Lee's Ice is supposed to provide ice for the 2017 World Rowing Championships um, beginning next week and the nice manager stuff. says she hopes her power We'll be back up and running by then. Up next, Bob will be back with our first alert weather forecast for the weekend. Stay with us. 
when you want to get away from it all to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire then you'll want to be here at the wannabe inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. It's Lincoln's summer sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKX Sport Utility for $349 per month or Lincoln's flagship, the 2017 Continental, for $449 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. What if you had a medical emergency away from home? My chest hurts. I can't breathe. What you need is Mobile Help, America's premier mobile medical alert system. Most systems only work at home, but with Mobile Help, you get help outside the home with coverage nationwide on one of the largest cellular networks at the press of a button. Call the number on your screen for a free full color brochure. We'll send you everything you need, including this base station, the patented mobile device, and the waterproof pendant and wrist button. You can also add the fall button that automatically detects falls and signals help. Call today and receive a risk-free 30-day trial. There is no equipment to buy and no long-term contract. For a limited time, you will also receive a free emergency key box with your planned purchase. Remember, mobile help keeps you safe coast to coast. Call 1-800-916-8638. That's 1-800-916-8638. It's Willamania at the Player Center as the Will Rogers Follies takes the stage September 27th. Part homespun humor and part Zigfield Follies, this toe-tapping Tony Award musical is the start of our wild Broadway series. So call the players at 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You need to catch Willamania. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Finally, the weekend has arrived. Friday, yes. Uh, 13 straight or something like that. 14, I don't know. It, it seems like it goes on and on and on with the weekend. I know. We like to hit these things like in midweek. That would be a lot better yeah. for us. But yeah. uh, uh, we are watching several areas uh, that uh, could develop, Scott, in the uh, future here. We'll keep an eye on them for you. I know no one wants to hear about it, but we gotta, we got to talk about it because they're out there. And uh, here's a look at the radar picture showing some rain around earlier. Pretty heavy at times, uh, dumping over an inch in some isolated areas. Now it's starting to wind down. Still some rain near Northport and also... A uh, Lakewood Ranch, some light rain there, but for the most part, uh, the heavier stuff that was around is now uh, winding down. But there'll be some outflow boundaries now and again uh, coming up from uh, actually coming down from Pinellas County. Right now, some rain near Warm Mineral Springs. Moving out of Northport, heading toward Venice East and uh, toward Venice, but it's very light at this point. Some isolated showers in the eastern portions of Charlotte County. Flood warning continues now along the Peace River in Arcadia. 19 feet, that's where it's at. It appears that it's crested there. It will go below. Uh, I mean, I won't go below that, but it will actually start to drop on Saturday. Uh, still flood warning continues until Monday and beyond. That's just until Monday, uh, but that will be extended. Also, the Mayaka River at the Mayaka State Park, uh, that is over flood stage there as well and will continue to drop slowly over the weekend, but still well above flood stage. We had 1.6 inches of rainfall near Fruitville and I-75 up near Lakewood Ranch, southward down toward uh, Bee Ridge. And as far as we're concerned, the dry air out here will stay there. We're watching this trough axis left behind from Irma. And this drier air will eventually start to spill back northward on Saturday and Sunday. So our rain chances will lower somewhat. 
as we start to see our friend here, Jose, head off to the north and west. Currently at the airport, we still have some light rain, but it's just about over 79 degrees. And the dew point temperature at 76, that's way up there. Winds out of the southeast at 6, and the pressure now 29.95 inches. The high today was right at the average of 89, 95. The record set back in 1991. This morning's low was at 75. Although the rain hasn't been tallied yet at the airport, I suspect we'll be close to 9 inches before it's all said and done there. We're at 8.61 right now. We're well above average for the year, over 15 inches. Well, in the tropics, here we go. Here is, uh, this is Jose. It's been out there for a long time doing a loop, and eventually it's going to head off in between Bermuda and the Mid-Atlantic Coast states and get close to the northeast U.S. This is the latest on it. It is now a hurricane again. It's moving to the northwest at 10. It could gain a little bit more strength, up to 90 on Saturday, but notice that cone of uncertainty now clips the northeast United States, but up there the storm should be a tropical storm based on the forecast models. And most of the rough weather, as we've learned with Irma, is to the right of the center, so it would still be rough going for the folks up there if it was on this course, and really if it was on this course it would be a significant storm, at least uh, for Boston and also up near Cape Cod, but for the time being uh, we'll keep an eye on it. It's not going to have a factor on us. I want to show you what it's done. This is where Jose's been spinning for the last four or five days right there. And look at the water temperature. I'm going to put the uh, numbers on. And all down in the low 80s. At one point, it was in the upper 80s, similar to what we're seeing here in the Northwest Caribbean. And this is where Irma went, and that's cooled down to the low to mid 80s just off the coast of Cuba. So they do their job. You can actually see the path of uh, Jose as it made its way very close to the northern Leeward Islands, and it stayed up here kind of spinning around. Water temperatures, if they're 80 degrees or below, uh, tropical storms and tropical cyclones have a hard time generating a lot of energy. So still a lot of energy here in the Northwest Caribbean. As far as the latest goes, we're going to see Jose take off to the Northwest away from Florida. This is a broad area of low pressure. This one bears watching. It has a 90% chance developing in the next five days as it heads off to the Northwest. Now, this uh, potential has a uh, potential of becoming another tropical storm or even hurricane as it makes its way off to the northwest, right toward the northern Leeward Islands. There's still a lot of uncertainty as to where it may go, uh, but as far as the models go, they're pretty much all over the place, uh, at least after day three and four. They start to head it off to the north. Some uh, do that. Some take it right over the northern Leeward Islands. So we'll watch it closely. Disturbance number one could soon become either Lee or Maria. Now, Lee... Uh, possibly may form on Tropical Depression 14 as it heads off to the northwest. Top winds are at 35. More than likely, this will become Lee, and Lee will stay out there for the time being in the Atlantic and possibly just be an Atlantic storm heading off toward the north. So lots going on still, and we'll keep an eye on for you. Nothing to worry about over the weekend, though, which is great. North winds uh, eventually late in the day at 10 knots and seas running two feet or less. Water temperature at 89 degrees and a UV index at a 10. Tides upcoming, high tide will be at 11.41, and another one at 9.44 tomorrow morning, sunset 7.35. Partly cloudy, a 20% chance for an isolated shower or two through the evening, 77 for your low. And then tomorrow, the rain chance only at 20%. Heat index up there at 100. We'll have a high near 90 degrees. And the extended forecast, dry weather on Sunday with the limited no chance for rain right through Tuesday. And the rain chance is just at 20% as we head in through midweek next week. Scott? Okay, Bob, thank you. Here's something fun to do tomorrow. The Sarasota Farmer's Market will go on as scheduled tomorrow. The popular event will be held along Lemon Avenue in Maine from 7 in the morning until 1. It was canceled last weekend because of the preparations for Irma. Organizers say there's no better time to support the market because many vendors have been impacted financially by the storm. We'll be right back. Tonight, deal or no deal after dining with the Democrats? Did President Trump promise to protect the Dreamers? And what about the border wall? This is where America turns. World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill. 
Get the hottest deals of the year during the summer clearance event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. The all-new Chrysler Pacifica is the KBB 2017 Best Buy Award overall winner and was recently named Consumer Digest Best Buy Minivan for 2017. Get yours today for just $24,999 or get America's Best Value, a new Dodge Journey for as little as $15,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was. I can tell you that you will not find a finer, more professional team of clinicians anywhere in the world. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. It's going to be a little bit time-consuming and probably a bit tedious, but world's better than it could have been. We can rebuild, there's no problem about that. You know, you can put a new roof on, on a mobile home, you know, or new windows in there. But as long as you have your life, you know, that's all that matters. Well, we got some cooling showers. I know a lot of people still without power right. probably appreciated that this afternoon, but the outlook this weekend? Not many. Uh, yeah. It's going to stay pretty warm, too. In fact, high temperatures will be. Close to 90 degrees each afternoon, and the heat index up near 100 to 105. Uh, we are looking at just a 20% chance of showers tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Our next news at 7 and then again at 11. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love, if not return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. 
40 Carats Family Center presents a free speaker event, The Whole Brain Child, featuring world-renowned neuropsychiatrist and author, Dr. Dan Siegel, at Riverview High School Auditorium on Tuesday, October 3rd at 7 p.m. RSVP required at 40carats.org. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air.